Good morning, everyone. I am Maricar G. Magpili, Information Technology Officer 1 from the Department of Information and Communications Technology, Republic of the Philippines. Allow me to share with you the proposed National Cybersecurity Plan 2023-2028. The Republic Act 10844, or the Department of Information and Communications Technology Act of 2015, mandated the DICT to formulate and implement the National Cybersecurity Plan. The first iteration of the plan was published in 2017 and was enforced from 2017 to 2022, which laid the foundation for much of the department's work. And through the NCSP 2017-2022, the National CERT was organized and a reporting mechanism was established. However, responding to cybersecurity incidents efficiently still requires improvement, and there's much work that needs to be done in protecting RCIIs. Thus, under the new administration of President Ferdinand Borongbong Marcos Jr. and amid the exponential growth in cybersecurity incidents, a new plan, the NCSP 2023-2028, is formulated. The DICT shall be the lead agency in implementing the NCSP 2028 and all government instrumentalities, including the national government agencies, government-owned control and corporations, and local government units are included in the, implement, in the implementation of this plan by developing and improving their own cybersecurity strategies and creating their own computer emergency response teams, or CERT, to significantly improve their agency's cybersecurity posture. The Philippine Development Plan of 2023-2028, or PDP 2023-2028, serves as a national development blueprint of the country and envisions for Filipinos to aspire and have a life that is strongly rooted, comfortable, and secure. There have been improvements in its key indicators, notably in the reduction of poverty incidents and increase in per capita income. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has rolled back some of these gains and revealed the fragility of these achievements. The NCSP 2028 is the subplan of the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028 that reflects the socioeconomic agenda of President Marcos Jr. and regards cybersecurity as critical not only to peace and security, but also to economic development. It aims to improve the e-commerce and digital trade by strengthening reg regulatory frameworks in the areas of transparency, privacy, and cybersecurity. The different strategic objectives in the PDP 2023-2028 that are in line this in cybersecurity can be found in Chapter 7, Transform Production Sectors to Generate More Quality Jobs and Competitive Products. Chapter 10, Promote Competition and Improve Regulatory Efficiency. Chapter 13, Ensure Peace and Security and Enhance Administration of Justice. The current Philippine cybersecurity landscape the, the current cybersecurity landscape shows that the Philippines is vulnerable to attacks. Data from the Kaspersky Security Network revealed that the Philippines moved two places up, ranking second among countries most attacked by web threats from January to December 2022, following Mongolia, who ranked as the top in the list. From January to November 2023, the Philippine Encert monitored a total of 3,967 cybersecurity threats and handled 1,643 incidents. The top three cybersecurity incidents handled were number one, the compromised websites and system at 44.6%, number two, technical assistance at 14.6%, and number three, 14, uh, data exfiltration or data leak at 14.2%. Given the data on the incidents handled in 2023 from the previous figure, an overwhelming majority of those incidents have targeted the, the government and emergency services at 50%. 23.6% um, coming from the academic sector, and the third targeted sector is the telecommunications at 6.5%. Since the publication of the NCSP 2017-2022, the, the country's cybersecurity posture is improving, but not at par with our regional counterparts. From 2017 to 2020, the Philippines improved its Global Cybersecurity Index, or GCI score, from 59.4 to 77, but fell in its ranking from 37 out of 193 countries in 2017. 
to 61st out of 194 countries in 2020. In the ASEAN region, the country was ranked fourth in 2017 but fell to sixth in 2020, falling behind Vietnam and Indonesia in the latest GCI rankings. The vision of the NCSP 2028 enumerates three collectively desired goals for securing the nation's cyberspace. First, it must be trusted. The most important factor in e-commerce, digital trading, and online banking is trust. This trust of cyberspace limits investment in e-commerce. Institutionalizing trust by strengthening the country's capability to secure transactions in cyberspace is undeniably important to the country's economic growth. It is also a valuable strategic mechanism to reduce social and technical complexity necessary in improving regulatory efficiency. Second, it must be secure. Security refers to the, to the protection of assets in cyberspace. Assets include intangible and tangible assets. Admittedly, not all assets can be fully protected from an evolving landscape of threats, vulnerabilities, and threat actors. The adoption of a risk-based approach is required to effectively secure information assets in the cyberspace. And lastly, it must be reliable. By including reliability in the vision, it becomes the nation's goal to develop an economic, an ecosystem of quality ICT products that deliver services as advertised. There should be a mechanism to be established to monitor and ensure reliability of the country's ICT products. In order to realize the vision of the NCSP, which is to have a trusted, secure, reliable cyberspace for every Filipino, three desired outcomes has been identified, supported by different strategies that will aid in achieving these outcomes. For outcome one, under cybersecurity policy framework strengthened, these strategies were identified and among them is the proposal of new laws to strengthen cybersecurity. Number two, for uh, outcome two, the state and its people in cyberspace is proactively protected and secured. Here, we recognize eight strategies to help attain this outcome, which includes the security and protection of critical infrastructures, as well as the institutionalization of a well-defined network of CERT. And lastly, outcome three, or the cybersecurity workforce capabilities increase. Four strategies were discussed in this outcome, which includes the improvement of cybersecurity culture in the country. For outcome one, cybersecurity policy framework strengthened. We can see the fig that the figure shows the different overlapping areas of cybersecurity. Various government agencies are mandated to strategize and implement plans in cybersecurity for each of the policy area. It also maps directly to the strategies outlined in the PDP 2023-2028, where cybersecurity plays an, import, an important role. Since cybersecurity is a multidisciplinary, many of these policy areas, including the mandate of different government agencies, overlap. For example, in technological control, CII regulation and policy, there is an overlap between the functions of DICT, who are who is in charge in policy development and in and with DTI BPS who are in charge with standards. So different agencies are therefore expected to also coordinate with each other in implementing policies and strategies in these shared areas. Emphasized also under this outcome is the empowerment of NSHA. They shall be the convergence point for all government agencies in implementing these policy areas and shall be the main forum of forum for information sharing, policy coordination, and shall harmonize the different cybersecurity implementation plans of other government agencies. Through NSHAC, conflicting policy, policy issuances between government agencies shall be addressed. Consistent and coherent monitoring of the implementation and efficacy of various cybersecurity and cybercrime laws in the country need to be enhanced. Timely and accurate data is necessary to enable government to craft policies aimed at improving the cybersecurity environment. Some of the, the proposed activities under this strategy is the conduct of monthly reporting of cybercrime and cybersecurity incidents, the regular publication of cybersecurity and cybercrime trends, 
capacitate judges, prosecutors, and law enforcement, individual and agencies on the proper handling of cybercrime and digital evidence, the review and amendment of the Cybercrime Act of 2012, of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulation, and engage in the development and adoption of internationally accepted norms and rules in cyberspace. The third strategy under outcome one is to propose new leg legislative measures to strengthen cybersecurity, such as number one, information sharing and mandatory disclosure of severe and critical cybersecurity incidents among government and CIIs. Two, setting minimum requirements for the management of customer premise equipment and network segments for ISPs and telcos. Three, define and implement standards to protect interdomain IP routing protocols, create a safe environment for security researchers, researchers to supply disclosed cybersecurity incidents. And five, implement a voluntary IoT security certification and, lab, and, la, and labeling system. These proposed policies are actually aimed to solve issues on, mis, on misaligned incentives, asymmetric information, externalities that hinder voluntary adoption of cybersecurity measures. The goal for this strategy is to create a national policy framework that will promote innovation and reduce barriers to compliance in cybersecurity. The policies shall also advocate shared responsibility between the private and public sectors. The proposed laws shall apply a risk management approach in implementing cybersecurity policies and shall penalize organizations that apparently show behavior of patent neglect in protecting their critical cyberspace assets. Outcome 2 of the NCSP aims to achieve for the state and its people to be proactively protected and secure in cyberspace. Cyberspace has been weaponized to deliver two broad types of operations. One, as preparation for kinetic warfare, and two, information operations to destabilize governments through subversion and coercion. Our national position in cyberspace must therefore acknowledge that cyberspace is indeed a domain of national defense and, a sec and security as state sponsored terrorists and criminal threat actors operate in cyberspace not only to exploit our weaknesses but also to subvert our political and democratic institutions the strategy the strategy to address this outcome is to secure and protect the cii who are significantly to the significant to the safety of, of our nation we must apply the following proactive measures to protect and secure the nation through number one Use of a risk-based approach in, identi in the identification of CII. Two, monitor compliance of CII with cybersecurity risk reduction regulations. And three, establish CII certs. Strategy 2.2 is to in institutionalize a well-defined network of cert by clearly defining the roles of different, um, different certs. This strategy targets to rationalize the network of cert nationwide define the delineation of their duties to avoid overlap of functions and to clearly define the coordination and hierarchy of certs that shall act during computer emergencies. The figure shows two cert and three SOC model at the national level. In the Philippines, a computer security incident response team is also called a computer emergency response team or cert. Under R810844, the DICT maintains the national cert which is officially registered in the international community as CERT-PH. The two national coordinating CERTs, the National CERT or NCERT, which, which is managed by the DICT and whose primary function is to act as a coordinating CERT for all government and CII organization CERT, and two, the Defense CERT, which is a national coordinating CERT for AFP CERTs and state-sponsored cybersecurity incidents. All certs must work within a strict chain of command with the two top level certs and should be coordinating each other's efforts. CERT is an organization that provides services and support to detect, prevent, and respond to cybersecurity incidents. Shown in this figure is the adoption of the National Cybersecurity Incident Response Model. The model is similar to the most cybersecurity incident response models from other countries and has resemblance to the NIS cybersecurity framework. This model is essential in ensuring uniformity of actions of private and government organizations when addressing cybersecurity incidents. 
This also eases coordination of the N cert and the S cert to all organization certs and facilitates faster and more defined efficient communication between parties during emergency situations. Under this strategy, the six-stage cybersecurity incident response cycle model shall be adapted and implemented and enumerated as, enumerated as number one, identify, two, contain, three, analyze, four, eradicate, five, recover, and three, learn or lessons learned. To institutionalize a well-defined network of CERT, the following activities must be adopted and implemented. Under 2.3, two, under 2 adopt a zero trust architecture, security policy for government. 2.4, 2 standardize cybersecurity process and controls for all government instrumentalities, including the local government units. Number three, develop advanced capabilities for attribution of cyber attacks. 2.6, enhance the country's cyber defense capabilities. 2.7, partner with digital online platforms to battle online harms and disinformation campaigns. 2.8, expand multilateral and bilateral international cooperations in cybersecurity. Globally, recruitment and retention of cybersecurity talent remain an obstacle for most organizations. The World Economic Forum reported that only 46% of surveyed cybersecurity leaders in 2022 believe that they have the appropriate personnel with enough skills for their cybersecurity needs. There is a critical skills gap among cybersecurity professionals. Capacitating our workforce and closing the skills gap in cybersecurity is therefore an important strategy in achieving our vision. Thus, under this outcome, or the outcome three, um, four strategies are discussed. Namely, uh, improve cybersecurity culture of the country, Two, increase the number of cybersecurity professionals. Three, institutionalize cyber institutionalize cybersecurity organization and government. And four, establish national cybersecurity training and research center. To achieve outcome three, or the cybersecurity workforce capabilities increase, the DICT identified several activities to address their uh, these four strategies. For three point one. Uh, to improve the cybersecurity culture in the, in the country, DICT shall initiate national hacking competitions and shall participate in international hackathons. It should, they should also regularly campaign for cybersecurity awareness among the general population and coordinate with DepEd to include basic cyber hygiene orientation and regular training seminars for both students, teachers, and parents. For 3.2, to increase the number of cybersecurity professionals, DICT shall assist the, the Commission of Higher education in developing cybersecurity curricula and courses for higher education institutions and provide scholarships to students pursuing higher education in cybersecurity. 3.3, institutionalized cybersecurity organization and government. The DICT, Department of Budget and Management, shall work together with Civil Service Commission to update the index of occupation by adding ICT and cybersecurity career service positions in the government and develop qualification standards and competency standards for hiring cybersecurity career service personnel in the government. And lastly, to establish a national cybersecurity training and research center, uh, critical, to the critical to the implementation of the NCSP is the enhancement of the research and training capabilities of the country in cybersecurity. All successful cybersecurity plans and strategies documented reiterates the importance of promoting innovation research and training in cybersecurity. To further this goal, a state, university, and colleges shall be identified based on their capacity and willingness to establish a center of excellence in cybersecurity research and training. This center of excellence will eventually be developed to become the NCTRC and is aimed to be fully operational as an academic center within a state, university, and colleges by 2027. So the, uh, this, uh, as the context of the NCSP 2028. Um, together, let's build a cyber safe environment for everyone. Thank you and maraming salamat po.